Look, I know what you're gonna say. Team Natty, you look gross. Why are you so sweaty? Why are you soaked? Why are you so red? It's mid-July, it's July 16th, and I just completed a five mile run outside in this weather, and I didn't mean to go <laughs> midday. I was posting YouTube videos like, oh crap, it's like 11 o'clock, I better get going. So I started running a little after 11. Time I get home, after I warmed up, and then I ran, it's like 12.30. And I'm like, really, like, on pavement out there on the road, because I'm road running, I'm just like, this is hot. I did bring a running bow with me, though. So like I said, that's an essential when you're gonna do long runs. Like, it really saves your life. So I was able to bring two 10-ounce bottles of water, which I infused with Mio. Um, but on the way back, I had this great idea for a video, and... I think a lot of us really do our recovery wrong, including me, including me. So I, I, I have a, I have a, um, I have a certification, so to speak, to, to talk about this matter because I've done it myself. When you get home from a run, you're like, I'm starving. If you're like me, work out, run, you're like, I am hungry. I could really use some food. So you're like, oh. I deserve something really good because I just worked my butt off. I mean, look how sweaty I am, look how nasty. I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna go down to T-Bell, or maybe KFC, or, you know, take your pick. Maybe I'm gonna go down to Brew Dogs and have a couple beers and a big old burger. No, 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 no. You probably know, when you start eating stuff like that, you really feel it during your run. Like, you know what's going through your head. You're like, why are my shins so tense and hurting? Why, why is my, like, stomach hurt? What do I? Why do I have a headache? Why does my body ache? Think about everything you're doing when you're not running that leads to those things. I can tell you the front of my shins in the first mile were so tight and tense. And you know why? It's because I've been doing police tests, I've been working out, I've been playing soccer every Sunday. And you know what I've done afterwards? Not a dang thing. I haven't rolled, I haven't stretched, I haven't iced, and I certainly haven't been giving my body the right nutrition to be conducive to gains and recovery. So you get back from a run, you know, first things first, cool down. They don't just preach that when you're doing cross country and track for no reason. Cool down. So I got back from my run, I stopped when I hit five miles, but I didn't just stop dead stop and be like walk. What I did is I slowed my pace down. I jogged, I jogged into my complex, and then I came around to my building and then I started walking, and then I walked out a little bit, and then I came back and walked back down and walked to my house, and I walked around a little bit in my house, and I didn't just sit down, I'm still standing up, mostly because I'm covered in nastiness, and I don't want that on my furniture. But think about that, you know? Give your muscles a cool down. Don't just go from 100 to zero, like slamming the brakes. You know, think about like how much you wear down the brakes on your car when you're like flying and then you just hit a dead stop. It's very bad for your brakes, it's very bad for your car in general, that like, it could cause an accident, yeah? could cause an injury. So don't just go from 100 to zero and slam on your brakes as fast as you can. Take the time, recover, cool down, jog it out, then walk. I can't tell you, like when I finished my half marathon, I ran across the finish line, and if I didn't, if I stopped, my like I try, I stopped for a little bit and my knees instantly like went to crap and I almost fell down. I realized I had to keep walking, I had to keep jogging, I had to keep my hands on my head and breathe. You gotta do these things. So, cool down. Then, foam roll slash stretch, okay? Do not stretch beforehand. Warm up, do a dynamic warm up. Most studies done on this, this subject, on stretching, static stretching, is actually worse for you before you work out. It decreases your strength by up to 10%, and it stretches out your muscle so that it's weaker. And think about it this way, like your muscle is cold, and then you stretch and you're pulling it out when it's not warmed up and then you're putting a bunch of strain on it when it's all stretched out. Like, it's not, you gotta warm it up. You gotta get the blood flowing to the muscle and get it warmed up. You're, you're actually more susceptible to injuries if you stretch, static stretch before your exercise. Static stretch after your exercise, that will help you increase mobility and recovery. Okay, well no, we're on number three now, aren't we? We gotta talk about nutrition. We gotta talk about diet. Do not, like, I was, I ran by Waffle House on my way here and I was like, dude, I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna go get an all-star breakfast. Today's gonna be good. It's my day off, I deserve this. Wrong, no. No, 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 So here, got some apples. I'm gonna have one of those. Maybe I'll have both of them. Think about it that way. Think about what your body needs. You just used up a bunch of glycogen running. If you're on a keto diet, 
you do you, I'm not on a keto diet, I'm not gonna talk about a keto diet, but you just use a, a bunch of glycogen, your muscles just got broken down a bunch, you need to use some, you need to eat something that will help you recover. Fruit, great choice, great choice, fruit and veggies. Let's look in here. Yeah, peaches, peaches, great choice, another good thing. Fruit, berries, tomatoes. All perfect ideas for a recovery snack. And on top of that, look at all that, that's protein. All those. Now you don't have to, and I've even, I've even talked about how it's unnecessary, but give yourself a protein shake if you want. You know, throw that in there. You probably need it. You probably need to supplement your diet. If you're working hard, you need that extra protein, and you don't have some lean chicken in the thing, or saying like you just want it right away, like you don't want to have to cook. For me, uh, I'm like tired, I want to go shower, I got stuff to do. You know, maybe you can throw in a protein shake. You don't necessarily have to. If you have like a steak in your fridge or something, some sort of meat that's ready to go, some sort of protein-based food, go for it, eat it. Maybe you've got a frozen meal in the freezer that you like. Go ahead, go eat it. But like, you know, get a meal in, get a good healthy meal in, fruits and veggies, and some good lean protein, maybe a shake. These are all helpful tips, trust me. Like, you'll want that. And after you do it, not just one day, because Rome wasn't built in a day, you gotta keep doing this. Every time you exercise, every time you run, foam roll your muscles out, get the blood flowing back to them, cool down, stretch, eat some veggies, some fruits, some protein, some lean protein, and you will start seeing results. Like your running will feel better. Even if you're not going faster, you can do the same pace with less stress, less strenuous um, feeling. Like you can go around, you'll be doing the same pace, the same workout, and not feel so bad because your body is in better condition, your body's in better shape. You've got cleaner fuel in the tank, and your muscles are doing a lot better. They're not all broken down, stretched out, and tired, and tight, and all those things, you know. It helps you rest, it helps you recover, and when you recover, the faster you recover, the more you can get out there, the quicker you can get out there, and the harder you can work out. And then, if you're doing the same workout, but it's a lot easier, chances are you can push a little harder next time then, too. But if it's if your body's dying, and you're, not going, you're only going 50%, chances are it's gonna be really hard to start pushing. So, food for thought. You guys, take it easy. Stay natty. Team Natty out.